I came to Silicon Valley in late 2007. So I came at the rise of maybe three trends. The internet basically going global, mobile, and cloud. And those three trends did three things. Number one, it meant your user base wasn't a US user base, it was global. As you know, covering Amazon, the cost to start a company went down precipitously with AWS, and mobile meant you just had this distribution where you could be at people's fingertips every single hour of every day. I don't have a great frame of reference of what this is like for the internet, but this feels like bigger than the internet and the 2000 cycle combined. It is, some people say it's the biggest technological wave since the industrial revolution. And I think this is just a massive acceleration. It is the platform shift of all platform shifts. There's gonna to be tons of overfunding. The vast majority of companies that get funded, probably like the last cycles, will either, will probably not exist as independent companies. They'll like morph or get sold. But I do think that um, it's a very exciting time. And I'm very, I think we're all very interested in AI. And I think that there aren't gonna be AI companies I think AI is going to be embedded in every single thing we do. Okay, well, it's, it's not immediately intuitive, at least not to me, how that could impact Airbnb. So tell me, how is it, how is it meaningful for you guys? Yeah, I, so here's our mental model. So here's how I think about it. At, think of it, let's use some physical metaphors. So we have these large language models. I know Sam was here this morning, and they do this large base foundational language models. And that is kind of like infrastructure, and we're not an infrastructure company. So if we're using a physical metaphor, that's like building a bridge. We don't build bridges, we don't do infrastructure. On top of the bridge, you have cars, which you might call applications, and that's what we do. Our real strength is we're really good at like design, interface, marketing, services, understanding how to apply technology. And so I'll give you a frame of reference. Let's say we go on ChatGPT, and you ask ChatGPT a question and I ask ChatGPT a question, we're probably gonna get the same answer or an almost identical answer. And that's great for questions like, what were the like, primary causes of the French Revolution or like how far is the Earth to the moon, like kind of immutable like answers. It turns out there's a whole bunch of questions where the answer depends on who you are. What should I wear? Who should I meet? Where should I go? What should I do with my life? Where should I travel? And so I think that our opportunity is to build the, or one of the definitive AI interface layers, and it's all built around personalization. So instead of Airbnb just asking you where are you going and when are you going, we ask you some bigger questions like, well, who are you, Brad? What do you want, like today, tomorrow, next year in your life? And the better we can understand you, the more we can be like the ultimate AI concierge pointing you to places, community, homes, experiences, and many more things. The only other thing I'll just say about AI, and I'll just bring this back to something that I've been thinking about, I'm excited and concerned about. AI obviously brings a huge amount of opportunity. I think it's gonna be a massive uh, boon for so many people. There's a couple ways to think about it. Number one, if the cost to start a company is lower, I think you're gonna have millions more entrepreneurs. So I think the number one thing you see from AI is more entrepreneurs. The second thing you see from AI is more software. Almost every single thing around us could one day have software, because the biggest inhibitor to, as a designer, the biggest inhibitor I have is that not everyone speaks a computer programming language. But the moment AI can basically write that language, it can be that translator, you can prompt it. Suddenly, anyone can create software, anyone can basically build a, build a company, and so many more things are gonna be alive. They're gonna be, I don't wanna say sentient, but they're gonna be able to, be able to take commands and do things. So that is gonna be a huge boon. I think it's easier to imagine the jobs will be displaced than the jobs will be created. I think that science will be revolutionized. Obviously, everyone can have a tutor, but I think there's so many more things we can do.